Hello and welcome to our physical sciences lesson. My name is Temba. Today we are going to focus our attention on investigating terminal potential difference, uh, which has got to do with electric circuit. So it's within the broader, you know, uh, knowledge area of electricity and magnetism, right? Then in terms of the overview, so this is uh, in the context of electric circuits. We're going to look at EMF. Uh, we will also look at different types of volts within a circuit, but of particular focus to us uh, or attention or you know, uh, our interest is terminal voltage. So there are a whole lot of concepts and quantities involved in as far as terminal voltage is concerned. Right, okay. So the thought that's going to guide our discussion for today is as follows. Uh, have you ever thought about what happens to the energy, okay, provided by the battery in a circuit? Right, immediately uh, you talk of energy, you are tempted to obviously uh, refer to the, the law of conservation of energy that talks about the energy conversion, the fact that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So it's very important for us to also appreciate that a circuit has a lot to do with energy. So we want to understand or arrive or discover what happens exactly to the energy of the battery in as far as the circuit is concerned. Right. So terminology, very, very important. This is another part that we also have to, you know, um, emphasize. When we talk about definitions, okay, the examination guideline is our, for, uh, you know, our point of reference in as far as what is acceptable, you know, uh, in an examination when it comes to definitions. Definitions are all or nothing, so you need to pay careful attention to the keywords, and the keywords must also be used in the correct context. So what are some of the keywords? The keywords that we'll use a lot uh, will be terminal voltage, okay, as well as EMF. So these are the two key terms, right? Okay, right, uh, think about this. What does the voltmeter reading tell us about the battery or a source? You know, voltmeter is an instrument, okay, uh, a device. So this is a device that we use. Okay, so there's a difference between voltmeter and voltage. So voltage uh, is actually the quantity, okay? So voltage is the quantity, okay? That can be measured. So what is used to measure this quantity? It's a device called a voltmeter. So the question is, what does the voltmeter reading tell us about the battery or the source? Right, now we're going to construct a simple circuit. Okay, what are some of the things or the most important things? You need a source of energy, which is a 12 volt battery in this case, right? Um, we'll also have an open switch, pay attention to that open switch, right? Also we'll need an ammeter as well as a voltmeter. So this one will measure voltage, okay? While the ammeter is a device that measures current, right? So these are some of the things that we already know. And what else? We'll also need a light bulb with a six ohm resistance. So a light bulb is a resistor in many ways. Okay, now let's set up our circuit and, and see exactly what is uh, happening, okay? Right, so here is our circuit, right? So in this circuit, we've got a 12 volt battery, okay? There we are. What else do we have? We have an open switch. Uh, we also have a a light bulb with a resistance of six ohms, right? So um, we are going to uh, set up this uh, circuit and try to use it in our investigation, right? So we already have that circuit. Now let's go back to our slide. Okay, so here is a circuit. We, the, the intention of setting up this circuit is to try and measure. So measuring is a very important skill in science, but what exactly are we measuring? measuring? We're measuring potential difference of voltage, okay, across the battery, right? Uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's go to our simulation where we already have our circuit, right? Okay, so in this circuit, uh, we are going to measure voltage using a voltmeter, right? Take note, the switch is open, so across the battery, 
will connect the voltmeter and take the readings. Okay, why do we use the voltmeter? Uh, to, uh, actually, we connect the voltmeter uh, between two points. It's because we are measuring potential difference between the two points. In this case, it's across the battery. So the reading that we obtain is 12 volts. What about the current reading? It's zero. Take note of that. The bulb is not glowing. So if we can go back to our slides, um, we are saying, okay, um, uh, as far as measuring the potential difference or the voltage, the voltmeter reading is 12 volts. Okay, we obtained that. And then the ammeter reading is zero MPS. There is no current in the circuit. We want to appreciate that. And then we're also saying that the potential difference across the battery is 12 volts, which is the source, and the light bulb is not glowing. Okay, right. Now, what is potential difference uh, as a physical quantity? It is the work done per coulomb of charge. So W is work done, okay, okay, or energy, right. Work is energy and energy is work. Okay, this is measured in joules, while Q stands for charge. So by definition, again, charge is in coulomb, right? So by definition, we're saying potential difference is the work done per coulomb of charge. In other words, when we've got one volt of potential difference. It means that there is a joule of work done for every coulomb of charge, which gives us this uh, 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 you know, um, mathematical equation to say a volt is equals to a joule per coulomb. Right, okay, now what does 12 volts mean? Now if we know that one volt is equals to one joule of energy or work done for every coulomb of charge, it, then it means 12 volts is also equals to 12 joules of work done for every coulomb of charge. That's, that's what, so equivalently, if we have got what, 24 volts, it means that there is 24 joules of work done for every coulomb of charge. And when we say per unit charge, we're talking about one coulomb of charge as the SI unit, right? Okay, and then um, we are happy with the 12 volts is equals to 12 joules per coulomb of charge. Right, now let's look at the micro view uh, of potential energy in an electric circuit. So we're saying a coulomb of charge, which is one coulomb, uh, that is at a zero reference point, which is uh, called the ground, okay? So we're going to use this as, a, you know, because we talk about the difference between two points. Now, then if we have got 12 joules, it means a, a coulomb of charge, uh, it carries 12 joules. So a coulomb of charge, so if you're saying V is equals to W, over Q, then if we're saying uh, it's 12 volts, then we're saying V is equal to 12 joules divided by one coulomb, which gives us V of what? 12 uh, volts. Okay, that's what we are simply saying. All right, okay, so where we've got a blue one, it says that there's 12 joules for every coulomb of charge. Right, now, so across the battery, the potential difference is uh, between zero and 12 joules is that we've got 12 joules for every Coulomb of charge across the battery because the voltmeter has been connected across the battery. So when there is no current in this circuit, we want to recognize that the potential difference, that 12 volts uh, is, is a result of, uh, the 12 volt is the potential difference between um, 12 uh, uh, joules per coulomb less zero joule per coulomb. Right, so this gives us what, 12 joules per coulomb as potential difference. Right, okay, now in conclusion, uh, for an open circuit, the terminal voltage across the battery is 12 volts. There is no current flowing, which means there's no work done uh, in the circuit, then that's why we register a zero ampere of current uh, uh, from that ammeter. Right, so the potential difference across the light bulb is zero volts. Okay, so the implication or the meaning for that is that there is no work done, okay, by charges in the circuit since there is no charge that is moving. The no charge moving suggests that current in the circuit is equal to zero MPS. Right, so this, this, this is one of the very important things and beyond that, this, uh, we are able to arrive at what exactly EMF is. So EMF, by definition, the symbol is E, is the maximum energy, maximum energy, okay, supplied by the battery 
all the source per coulomb of charge. And when we talk about maximum energy, we can say also maximum work, right? So this has to do with maximum work, okay? So this also comes from the fact that, so EMF is measured in, in volts, right? We appreciate that, that because we are saying V is equals to W over Q. So the maximum energy that a battery can supply for every coulomb of charge is actually our EMF. So EMF is some form of voltage or potential difference across the battery. And then when do we obtain the EMF reading? When there is no current in the circuit, we are able to get the maximum energy that the battery can supply. Right, so the EMF reading of a battery in a circuit is obtained by connecting a voltmeter across the ends of a battery in an open circuit. So this has to do with EMF reading. It's definitely not the EMF as a quantity. How we obtain the EMF reading or what's, what's an indication of what our EMF is has a lot to do with uh, the open circuit. So that's when we can be able to get the maximum uh, reading of, of, of voltage, right, across the battery. So an EMF of 12 volts is defined as a total of 12 joules, which is a maximum uh, potential energy supplied by the battery per coulomb of charge, right? So that's uh, in as far as uh, EMF is concerned. We'll take a short break for now. When we come back, we'll look at a typical closed circuit within the same setup. Let's take a short breather for now. Mm -hmm. 